Well, we've been sharing a lot of stories about the political strife in Venezuela, but in neighboring Colombia, there are numerous members of the FARC, the once narco terrorist group turned political party who are now assuming unelected positions in the nation's Congress. Two Americans once held hostage by the group live here in Florida. They spoke exclusively with NBC6 reporter Natalia Ortiz shortly after the 10 year anniversary of their rescue from the Colombian jungle. Yeah, it's been a decade since the remarkable rescue which captivated the world. The two Americans and former FARC hostages sat with me to share their lives 10 years post-rescue. They specifically wanted us to know their thoughts on their captor's new role as Colombian congressman. What do you feel for your captors? Hmm. I've got two different, I put them in two different categories. Uh, just the day-to-day -day gorillas and they would have killed me, kids. They were slaves. I have no animosity toward them. But the senior leadership, um, it's not hate that I have from them, it's, it's, um, it's a disgust. That's how Keith Stanzel, an American and former FARC hostage rescued 10 years ago from the Colombian jungle, describes his feelings towards his captors a decade later. Mark Gonzalez, another American kidnapped and rescued alongside Keith, is just as repulsed. We're seeing people that, that we actually met in the jungle that had guns to us, they're now taking political office. They're being given unelected political office in the Colombian, Colombian government. The seats, a condition for the peace treaty signed between former Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos and the rebel group. The former president winning the Nobel Peace Prize in 2016 for it. La recibo no a nombre mío, sino a nombre de todos los colombianos. Keith and Mark resenting Santos for it. In my opinion, Santos abandoned the Colombian people to put his little lapel pin on with a white dove and say, hey, I made peace. Well, no, you didn't. You pardoned a bunch of terrorists and you've made it even worse. While the Colombian government seems to have moved on, Keith Stanzel and Mark Gonzalez, two of the four Americans who were kidnapped by Colombia's FARC rebel group in 2003 and held hostage for over five years, were impacted forever. There's a part of it that's always with me, but I don't think about it every day. You know, that's not, uh, I get to see my boys who are now freshmen in high school. I missed high school with my two adult children. Mark, what was it like to come back home? One of the things that was very hard to reestablish and I haven't done in, in, in every situation is reconnect uh, with my children in the same way that I had the connection before. Wow. I believe it's been 10 years, Mark. On July 2nd, 2008, the three Americans, along with a group of 11 Colombian hostages, including former Colombian presidential candidate Ingrid Betancourt, unknowingly became subjects of a rescue mission coined Operación Jaque, which translates to Operation Checkmate. There's a chess set that Mark carved in the jungle right there. The high profile mission was carried out without a single shot being fired. A decade later, the men live in Sarasota. You know, I had lost five and a half years while I was in the jungle. And uh, I might be crazy, but I'm, I'm determined to somehow recover those years. You know, I carry scars that if I take my shirt off, you can see on my shoulder and on my neck from being in chains, you know. Um, I'll never be physically back to where I was, right, but I'm alive.